Hey guys, it's Courtney, and this month, I decided that I am going to do a TBR pile. I've talked about how bad I am with TBR piles before. I mean, I seriously suck because I can never stick to them. However, I like to challenge myself. Therefore, this month, the month of June, I will be doing a TBR pile. And to make it even more fun, I decided to do a rainbow TBR challenge. I thought that this would be a really cool challenge to do, especially if you guys wanna do it too, because that would make it even better and more fun. My sisters are actually gonna be joining me, and I just think that if we all did this together, it would be so cool. This is like the perfect challenge for those who don't usually do TBRs, for those of you like me who can't stick with them, and for even those who do TBRs regularly. It would be so cool if we could just do this together. The rainbow TBR challenge is pretty simple and straightforward. We're sticking to the main six colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So we're gonna have six books to get through. One of each color. There aren't a lot of rules. I just wrote down a few guidelines to make this a little easier. The books that you choose can be physical books, audiobooks, ebooks. They can be books that you've previously read. They can be comic books, graphic novels. I'm not really excluding anything, but the book does have to be 150 pages or more. I know that a lot of comic books and graphic novels are usually less than 150 pages, but I know that there are some that have 150 pages or more, so if you can find them and they're within the color scheme, then you can go with that. Also, you can read outside of the TBR pile. You are not restricted to the six books that you choose. You can read outside of the pile. The challenge is just to try to read the six books that you've chosen. So just do your best and try to read all of them or as many of them as you can. I know I'm going to do my best and try to get through them. So really quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys the six books that I have chosen. Another thing I have to add, um, say you're picking a red book, but you don't actually have a book that is predominantly red, that is perfectly okay. Just make sure you pick a book that actually has red in it. My first book is a perfect example of that because I chose Outrun the Moon by Stacey Lee. And as you can see, this book is pretty much blue, but it has red in it, and the spine is this gorgeous red color. So, it counts. Also, if, say, the actual book beneath the dust jacket is blue, which this actually is, and the dust jacket's like pink or something, since the actual book is blue, it can count as a blue book. So, you shouldn't run into too many issues when picking books within the color scheme. Outrun the Moon by Stacey Lee is a historical fiction about a girl living during the time of the historic San Francisco earthquake. Sabata here herself said that this book is immersive and riveting. Mercy Wong had her heart from page one, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this. I've been really, really into historical fiction lately. For my orange book, I chose Orchards by Holly Thompson, which is another example of choosing a book that has some of the main color in it, because as you can see, like, it has mostly green and then blue on the cover and then there's this orange here and some oranges in the back so like specks of orange but it still counts because it's got orange how do you know if you're to blame after a bullied classmate commits suicide kana goldberg a half japanese half jewish american is sent to her mother's ancestral home in japan for the summer kana wasn't the bully not exactly but she didn't do anything to stop what happened either as Connor begins to process the pain and guilt she feels, news from home sends her world spinning out of orbit all over again. I like the writing style. It's really nice. This is going to be a pretty quick read. And for my book of yellow, I have chosen Devoted by Jennifer Matthew. This book is about a Christian girl who has been sheltered all her life, and she's starting to see that there is more to the world, and she's trying to find herself in it. So, yeah, that's pretty much what this is about. And for my green book, I chose The Girl on the Cliff by Lucinda Riley. I love Lucinda Riley's covers. I like how atmospheric they are. This book follows a character named Grenia who returns to her family home in Ireland after a recent heartbreak. Here in Ireland, she meets Aurora, who she befriends despite her grandmother's warnings. And through old letters dating from 1914, they discover how deeply entwined their histories are. It's another book with historical fiction. I'm probably really going to enjoy this. Sorry if my camera was shaking at all because um, I had my foot touching the stand and yeah, that wasn't the best idea because when I talk, I move and you know, whatever. Oh, but yeah, okay. Anyways, for my book of blue, I have chosen Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane, which is a Romeo and Juliet novel, except it is from the point of view of Benvolio, who falls in love with Rosaline. So it's like Romeo and Juliet, but with Benvolio and Rosaline. Okay. It sounds really interesting, plus I love Romeo and Juliet because 
that's like, I mean, it's the only Shakespeare play I've read so far, but it was just, I mean, I loved it. Shakespearean is such an interesting and beautiful language. Oh my gosh. I mean, I knew the story before I read it. I feel like it's one of those stories that everyone is familiar with, but it still got to me, you know? It still got to me. And for my purple book, I chose Snow by Tracy Lynn, which is a Snow White retelling. Oh, well, that was kind of dusty. It's nice and purple. I don't know a lot about this book other than the fact that it is a Snow White retelling, but it's okay. I kind of like it when I can go into a book without really knowing what it's about. I feel like it makes the reading experience more magical because you don't know what to expect. Oh, stop. It's falling. Okay. So these are my chosen books, which I'm really excited to read. I think this is going to be so much fun. At first, when I picked my books out, I was thinking, this isn't right, only because I kind of feel like the spines should be the exact colors of the rainbow. But the spines are still pretty like. <laughs> so I will be posting updates throughout the month on my Twitter page. You will find my link in the description below. And I will also post an update video sometime this month, maybe two weeks in. So like within the next couple of weeks, I'll probably be posting an update this video. This is the first book challenge I've ever hosted on my channel. So if anything was unclear or you guys have any questions, then please let me know in the comment section below. And let me know if you guys are participating. I would love to know what books you guys choose. If you have Twitter, then you can tweet me a picture of your books. I would love to see it. And if you don't have Twitter, just list them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys decide to join in. And I hope that you guys have a great morning, noon, or night. See you guys next time.